hello you are welcome to this video tutorial this is iniski designs and quickly i have a question for you let me know in the comment section how many layers you think this test effect is just let me know in the comment section how many layers comment it in the comment section that how many layers don't cheat okay so don't forward this video to the front and then get the number of layers without checking let me know in the comment section just guess it how many layers the text this particular test effect is okay so in this video i'll be showing you how i created this amazing test effect from scratch it is very very simple like it's just in few minutes if i was just playing around on um pixel lab and um i was able to come up with this amazing text effect and so in just few minutes i will show you how i was able to create it so without further ado let's go right into the video see you in the video all right so once again you are welcome to this video tutorial and like you know in my um tutorials in my test event tutorials the color palette i use are always available to you for free so that you won't have to start cramming color codes and start um um cramming color codes and 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 trying to get the colors i use and all of that so i always make the color palette available for you to download directly without having to stress yourself so just check the description box below you are going to see the link to where you can download you know the um color palette for this is actually just two actually use two color palettes for this tutorial it's actually very 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 simple but then if you feel you still need it then just check the description box below you are going to see the link to where you can download um download them for free for free and also the resources because in this tutorial i use textures okay i use uh, textures also the background too so that you'll be able to get them all right so you'll be able to get the resources i use in this tutorial too all right so i'm going to clear all of this um i'm going to clear all of this all right so yeah just tap on this no tap on this then click on oh sorry no tap on this then i'm working with a plain no yeah i'm working with a plain background now all right so the first thing i'm going to do meanwhile if you are new to this channel please do where to smash the subscribe button also do where to hit the like button so that more people can see this video we get to see this video so do where to hit the like button turn on your notification bell so that youtube can always notify you whenever i drop new content too all right so like i said just tap on this this particular function and go to image size click on image size then tap on this and pick youtube channel banner since i will be dropping this video on youtube since you are watching this video right now on youtube so click on ok and then i've gotten the size all right so for the background the next thing i'm going to do is to import um just tap on this um tap on this rather tap on this um this function then click on import click on import and then um yeah you should be taken to your gallery so I have my on the background okay so the um image I use is under backgrounds all right so this is it so all right so this is um this is the particular background I use so I'm just going to tap on it yeah this is a background so mark it and then I'm just going to increase the size and I'm going to place this here all right then i'm going to come down to opacity and then reduce the opacity all right so mark it mark it then i'm just going to lock this tap on this and lock it and leave this at this all right so now click on test click on test a click on a then click on test and then move this test here click on edit and change the test to shell zones all right so that is the test i use shell zones and just for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to use the same test again okay so you can always choose your own test you can use your own but then just for the sake of this tutorial i've got to use shell zones too okay so now i'm just going to increase the size well just click on size come down scroll down click on size my size is 264 the size used for the test is 264 okay so yes it is it mark it all right so scroll down the next thing i'm going to work on is my fonts you just click on fonts and then i'm going to pick the font i use so 
click on recent this is the font i use sql 100 black look at this this font is also going to be available just check the the description box below you're going to see the link to where you can download this font too now click on ok and this is what i've got this is what i've got so just um break this just break this down okay so this is this is what i've got here shell zones all right so it's going to be in three layers actually so it's actually yeah uh, this is it okay so now i'm going to go to line spacing scroll down to line spacing this is actually a one layer test effect so it's actually very simple so if you actually got it now you will know that you get it correctly since i've said the answer um minus 44 so mark it this is our test so i'm just going to leave this at this but then i'm going to do something go to paddling scroll down just look for paddling yes look out this is this is paddling so click on paddling and i'm just going to increase then i'm going to increase this to to the same thing 28 to and mark it then um click on the position and position it to the center position it to the center all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go to color all right i'm going to go to color click on color and this is the color i use so this is the color i'm using so like i said the color palette is going to be available for you but then for some of you that you would like to know the color code is look at this is the color code 3 f 3f0038 that is the color code all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go to stroke yeah go to stroke click on stroke enable stroke and then yeah just increase the stroke width change this is the color for the stroke okay this is the color for the stroke look at plus ff0001 that is the color code but like i said the color palette is going to be available okay so this is 44 let me increase it to 20. yeah let me increase it to 20 then this back to this all right now scroll down the next now is to go to 3d test enable 3d test all right then the depth should be 3 the depth should be 3 then click on oblique all right so come to oblique angle and reduce bring the angle down to 260 yeah 265 is great then scroll down to stimulate lightning disable it oh yeah 265 all right okay that is disabled already then mark it all right so mark it then go to inner shadow right go to inner shadow okay so for the stroke for the stroke where is it where is the stroke click on stroke tap on this same um yeah then come down to inner shadow click on inner shadow enable inner shadow click on this for the inner shadow right then reduce the blur radius to reduce the blur radius to zero all right then offset x to look at it increase the move this up to minus seven or minus nine okay let's leave that minus nine all right now mark it all right mark it then come to shadow scroll down to shadow yeah scroll down to shadow where's shadow just go to click on shadow enable shadow then reduce the blur reduce to zero okay and then click on this too yeah this is our shadow color then look at this reduce the offset x to or increase the offset x to 15 to 15 all right so this is 15 mark it okay then go to color all right so um just mark it okay mark it then go to texture click on texture click on this then come scroll down all right so i've seen this is actually the texture look at this i'm just going to tap on it 
so this is my texture then i'm going to rotate it okay that was what i actually did i'm going to rotate it this way then mark it okay so you can see this now so i'm just going to increase this to 130 all right then mark it okay now click on font i need to change the font this wasn't exactly the font you so i'm just going to search for sql all right so the font is also going to be available okay all right so this is not still the font use okay so this is it okay so this is the font all right so this is the font use that's sql that's um sql what let me show you that's sql look at it this is bold one sql under black 105 okay so this is what i've got now go back to um shadow or go back to inner shadow rather go back to inner shadow then okay you know go back to stroke okay you go to stroke then reduce the stroke to all right reduce the stroke to eight all right so eight is a great one all right so this is what we've got it is actually a one layer test effect like you can see just a one layer test effect just a one layer test effect okay now go to inner shadow you can just adjust and do some other stuffs some other things that you feel are necessary okay so yeah you can you can adjust this okay so i think this is actually a great one all right guys this is what i've got here and this is the test effect it is very simple and you can also use this for that test. just like i said i can decide to change this to um subscribe okay i can decide to change this to subscribe i'm just trying to remind you that don't forget to actually subscribe so this is subscribe i can also break it down if i like okay so you can look at it this is subscribe look at and please don't forget to subscribe right <laughs> yeah look at this so if i like i can change it to like okay so don't forget to like this video don't forget to like this video please so if i, if I like i can change to like look at this this is beautiful guys this is amazing look at this is like so if i like i can turn it to turn on okay so don't forget to turn on your notification bell okay so you can always use your test and in fact you can just you can play you can play, uh, play around with it and get your own version look at turn on this is amazing okay this is turn on okay look at okay so if you watch to this point thank you for staying me to this point it is very very simple like you can see it is just a one layer test effect like just a one layer test effect so it is actually very very simple um test effect to create so thank you for staying me to this point once again don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'm going to see you in the next one